Welcome to embedding a pivot table into a PowerPoint slideshow. Brought to you by ShiftKey Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. So this video tutorial will outline the steps, the very basic and simple steps in um, embedding a pivot table, enhanced ways of doing it, whether you're going to use some SQL uh, or OLE databases into your PowerPoint. But this is some very basic methods here that we're going to cover. Um, before we can begin, I want to talk to you about what we have to do here. We're going to take this particular Excel worksheet here and uh, have to uh, save it or link it through an access table. And then from there, we'll embed it into our um, PowerPoint Excel worksheet. So. Let's take a look here. We're going to review our data, which is always a good idea before you begin something like this. And let's get a count for how many records we have here. I'm going to select this first cell and I'm going to press shift control arrow key down and it takes me to the very last uh, row or record in this worksheet. I have 173 rows if I subtract the first one, which is the 72 records. So from there, I can take a look and see what I have here. I have parent class, sales class, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just close this. I'm going to keep in mind that I am on worksheet one, and then I'm going to close this down. Go let, let's go to access. Now I've created a blank um, access database here, and in this access database. Uh, I want to link that data so that when I make changes in my original Excel worksheet, they'll automatically and, and dynamically affect this access database. So from here, I'm going to go to external data. And I'm going to go to Excel. I have to link to the database. And then I'm going to click open. Now from here I have two, two choices for access. I can import the data as a source data or I can link to it and that's what I want to do. I want to link to it. So I'm going to click OK. It says OK, well, well there's wor three worksheets here. Which one do you want? I have to remind myself, well I want the first worksheet one because if I look I can see that yeah those are my headers. Um, of my data headers. If I go to sheet three or sheet two, I'll see that there's title um, information on each of those sheets. So I'm going to go to sheet one. I'm going to click next. Make sure that first row contains column headers is selected. Click next. And then I'm going to name it. In this case, I'm going to call it Good Foods Table. I particularly am in the habit of naming. Uh, the elements within my access database, whether they're a table, form, a report, so on. Okay, so I'm going to click finished. It says, you know, uh, finish linking the table. Click OK. And there it is. I can see with the little arrow here that it is a linked Excel um, table. Now, from here, if I close it down and go to my PowerPoint and try and link it or embed it, um, when I ask when I identify access and the tables within this particular access database, it'll show nothing because it's a link table. So I have to make a copy of this. So I'm going to right click, copy, then I'm going to right click again and choose paste. Now from here, I have some choices as to what I want to paste over. It'll give me an option. I can paste yet another link table, but in this case, I want to choose the local table structure and data. I could just do structure which is the framework of that table fields and um, rows and records but I'm sorry not records but just the rows. I'm going to choose structure and data. I'm going to click OK and now I have a copy of this link table. So there I go. So from here I'm going to save my changes For that matter, I'm going to save it not as an object, but as a database. If you've worked with Access, you'll know the difference. Make sure I'm going to save it in the right area. 
I already had one created, but I'm going to click yes. I want to overwrite it. Now I'm done. From here, I'm going to close this down. And now we're in PowerPoint. Now, I'm going to use a blank PowerPoint presentation. Um, if you're going to be doing something like this, you may want to do embed into your an existing um, PowerPoint slideshow. Now, if we stop and think about this, why would I do this? Why would I want to embed an actual database versus just capturing a screenshot or something and pasting it in? Uh, I think the differences are obvious. One is the what we're doing now is uh, allowing us to have an interactive, dynamic um, presentation with an actual uh, Excel worksheet and then from there a pivot table and pivot chart and what or dashboard or whatever we're going to create from that Excel um, data that gives us the ability to create and manipulate the data on the fly um, quite frankly the reason we're doing this is for an, uh, an executive uh, management um, as a project manager um, Eshe has to um, send this information out and by doing this embedding it gives the executive management to make changes to that PowerPoint um, pivot table on the fly and so they can answer questions they might come up with granted that they know how to use a pivot table at any rate let's talk about what we need to do here we're gonna go to insert tab we're going to go to tables group and click the drop down here for tables and then I want to use Excel worksheet so here's our little Excel worksheet I'm not going to modify this quite yet I'm going to come up to my data tab and then over in the ex get external data group I'm going to click access now from here I'm going to identify where my database is going to open it and then from here because I do have an actual database excuse me an actual table in there not a link not only a link table but also also an actual table copy of it um, I'm going to choose okay make sure that I have table selected okay so here are all my um, fields imported from that access database so I'm gonna just grab the border and move it up a little bit then I'll open up, open it up just a little. Now I can see that it actually linked over, and it out links over as a table, not just the Excel worksheet raw data. So now here's my table. Now my active cell is somewhere in my act, in my table. So from here I want to create a pivot table. So I'm going to come up to my Insert tab, and again my ribbon is changed here in PowerPoint as long as I have my table selected and I'm inside my table my ribbon changes to all my Excel options so from here I'm going to go to insert tab go to the tables group and click my um, pivot table drop down and choose pivot table now from here it says okay is this the range you want and I'm gonna say yes because that's the name of the uh, table and I want it to go onto a new worksheet I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to notice that down here in my uh, Excel embedded data, I have two worksheets now. My first worksheet is my data. The second worksheet is the pivot table. So from here, I'm going to manipulate this table the way I would any other pivot table. I'm going to put uh, sales class as a row label. And let's see what else. We're going to put... Um, uh, second week of February in column and then quantity sold as a value and now here's my basic pivot table it's very basic if I open it up a little bit I can see there it is now from here there's many other advanced more advanced things we can do to modify this but one of the basic things is just to give you an example like grand total we have grand total for rows and uh, I'm sorry grand total for columns, 
grand total for rows. Well, one of the first things I like to do is just remove the grand total for rows because we don't need that. So we're going to go to the uh, design tab and then over here in the layout group, I'm going to click grand totals and then choose on for columns only. And it removes it. So there's my embedded um, pivot table. I could go so far as to adding slicers into this, which really makes for a great um, uh, dynamic embedded data. So that the conclusion of this, I hope it helped. Um, and there you go. If you didn't know how to do this before, well, now you know. And knowing is, is knowledge and knowing how is powerful. So I encourage you to share the power with everyone around you or whoever needs help with it. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to comment.